Hey guys, welcome to TGS, and today we're going to be looking over this, the Browning BLR. Starting at the back, we have a hard polymer butt plate. It actually reduces a huge amount of recoil. This one, as I said, is in 300 win mag, so it does kick a little bit, and we go out and shoot it in front of the camera in a bit, just to show some noise. It's quite decent at reducing recoil, but uh, by the by. It is hand fitted to the stock, which is American grade two walnut, very unexotic with a two pack lacquer. Great for weatherproofing and a good classic look, but as you can see, it does lend itself to marking rather horrifically. Comes fitted with sling swivels, both in the forewind and stock, and it is hand checkered, which is always a nice touch, but that's what you get when you have a gun made by Maruku in Japan. The actual lever design of this, and this would say this is the pistol grip edition, you get straight hand, and as I, one of my favorites of this is they do a laminate with a satin silver finish action of marrow. That's wicked, but I want to hit to show you today. It's a very simple design actually, and what Browning did when they designed this gun was to say, why sacrifice all of the standard decent rifle accuracy you get with a bolt action in a lever gun? So. They took your standard lever gun design, threw it out the window a little bit, and came up with this. This is a box magazine fed lever rifle, where the trigger comes out. And this is the, one of the most ingenious parts of it, as you can see, so there is no chance of you catching your finger, because the whole thing comes back and forth. The box mag allows you to have great feeding, so you can then use conventional uh, ammo types, as opposed to ones that just wouldn't feed in a tube. And where you get that bolt head locking, in there as you'll see, a standard locking bolt head, you get rifle quality accuracy, which is great. The only downside of this is it's a lever action, and those who don't like lever guns will not like it. But it is pretty cool. One of the sweetest ideas with the BLR was that it is a geared bolt. So you can suddenly put really large calibers in there, really smoothly without having a huge lever throw. This is a very short throw for a huge bolt throw. And as you can see there, you've got your teeth running along the back. This connects to a big gear in there that pushes this back. Very smooth, very nice, the end. One of the downsides to the BLR is there is no safety as such, which is a bit of an odd one. What you do have, you have is a half cock safety. So you can either cock the gun fully by actually moving the lever back, or you can pull it back. However, you've got this half cock safety, so whilst the gun is on half cock, it can do absolutely nothing. And what's quite nice about it, although it's a bit of an odd feature, is that you can put the gun to half cock and push that hammer forward. So you've got that hammer falls forward, and now this is in a position whereby throughout, without huge accidental issues, this gun should be safe. However, obviously, always treat a gun as if it was loaded and the safety was off. A bit of an odd one, however, it's not hard at all to then just pull this into your fully cocked position if you are loaded and ready to rock. That's about the only downside I can think to is the fact that there's no proper safety and uh, there's a lot of people out there who demand a three position safety, let alone a two position one on a bolt action who will not like this feature. The forend is a Schnabel style short forend made of walnut, hand checkered again. The barrel on this one is a 22 inch long barrel all decent quality barrels, and they all come with adjustable open sights, which is a nice feature. However, most of you will be purchasing weaver mounts or some kind of rail system to mount it with a scope. One thing you will find is if you put a scope on is you'll also need one of these because this comb really is set up for open sights. However, there is uh, Monte Carlo versions and some other editions available. Every stock shape has been made for this and aftermarket wise, there's a huge amount out there as well. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go shoot it. I've been looking forward to shooting this ever since it came in. And unfortunately today, I forgot my CFGs, my custom fit guards, so I'm on basic cloaks. So I'm sure this is gonna hurt. Beautiful mag. Not like one for metal versus polymer, I don't think it makes a damn difference, but in a rifle like this, if we put a polymer mag in, that would be sad. All right, one thing I'll never really get, and I think it's just a, a, a culture and a fashion thing, is why, why on earth 
we don't have more lever action rifle users in the UK. But I feel just because it's not culturally appropriate to us, that's why there isn't many. But when you can get guns like this, uh, the, the Henry Long Ranger and proper accurate lever actions, I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to. Anyway, bang. Federal 150 grain soft through a wind mag are unbelievably loud. They don't kick a lot, but they are insanely loud. For a lever action, the trigger is really nice. I've shot one of these before in the past in a 3006, and uh, yeah, they're amazing guns. They are always super, super slick. They can be a little bit ammo fussy in terms of um, feeding, and where they are sort of mechanical, not levered, you do need to give them a little bit of force. But all in all, that's actually not a bad thing. The grips on both of them are really nice. You know, you're not looking for big target shooting grips here. This is a proper old fashioned sporting rifle. It, like I said, it's a shame they don't really do them anymore, certainly not in the UK. And it's really a shame that the UK doesn't embrace guns like this on a more regular basis, seeing how quick we all have to jump on that straight ball train. A great target shooting rifle, a good fun stalking rifle. You know, it's not for someone who perhaps takes themselves too seriously when it comes to their stalking, but it doesn't matter because it's just a beautiful machine. It is beautifully made. And it's significantly better made than a lot of other stuff out there today. And you can just sit there doing this. And it puts a smile on your face every time. Guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been brilliant. Thank you very much for lending this, Ben. And uh, we'll see you next time.